Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to explain how to troubleshoot a problem which I've been experiencing in Photoshop in relation to making patterns, in particular where you use the offset filter to make those patterns. Now I'm going to start with a brand new document here. I'm going to create one that's a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels in size. This problem is intermittent so it may not happen with this particular document but I've got one that I'm going to show you where it did happen and how you're going to identify that it's a problem and fix it. I'm just going to fill this document with white. It was my background color so I just press control backspace. You could press Command Delete on the Mac. Of course, you could always just go and make white your foreground color and fill the layer with the paint bucket. I'm going to add a brand new layer and that's going to have text on it. So I don't actually have to add the layer. The mere process of adding some text to this document will add a new layer. I'm going to type the letter A. Now it's going in white so that we can't see it. Let's make this red. I'm going to enlarge this. And I want to make a pattern of the letter A. So I want the letter A in the middle and I also want a quarter of the letter A in each of the corners. The way we do that is we're going to make a duplicate of this text layer. I've ended up with an extra layer there. Let me just go and change the color of this so that we'll be able to see it a bit more clearly. I'm going to make this one blue. Now we're going to split it into the four corners and we do that using the offset filter. So with the topmost layer selected, we'll use filter, other and then offset. Because I've got a text layer here, I have to do one of two things, convert to a smart object or rasterize. As this is going to be a raster result anyway, I'm just going to rasterize. And what I'm going to type in here is half the width and here half the height of the document. Now I started with a document that was 1000 by 1000. So I'm setting this to 500 and 500. That's half of the width, half of the height. And that sends the pieces into all four corners of the document. And so ultimately we want this to be our pattern. To make it our pattern, we'll choose select and then all. We'll choose edit and then define pattern. And this is added to the pattern collection. Let's test this one, file, new. I'm going to make a much larger document. In this case, I'm going to make one that's 3600 by 3600 pixels in size. I'll fill it with my pattern. I'll use layer, new fill layer, and then pattern. The pattern that's used is the last one that we created, which is the one that we just did. And yep, this is where <laughs> it's failed again. That's fine. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. I wanted it to fail so that you would see that it does fail intermittently. Now, it's not going to fail on the red A because that was in the middle and that was solid. It's failing on the bits that were thrown into the corner. So let's just go back to that and let's have a look at what is happening here. The problem is that Photoshop is misreading how big this character is. So I'm just going to press Ctrl or Command Z and I'm going to continue to undo it until I get back to before I ran that offset filter. Now I'm going to rasterize this manually. So I'm going to right click and choose rasterize type. Now it's raster, we can do something with it. And what I want to do is to trim any potential excess off this layer and that potential excess. Well, there actually is some excess there. That's what's causing this letter not to be broken up correctly. So with this layer selected, I'm going to the crop tool. I'm going to click on it once and it defaults to a selection that is the exact size of the artboard. So I'm going to press enter twice and making sure that delete cropped pixels was selected because if there are any pixels out this edge, we want to crop them away because they're causing us issues. Now we can go and do our offset filter. Filter, other, offset. Again, 500 and 500 and click OK. Now I'm going to change the color of this middle A so it's going to be really obvious that this is the one that we just created that we fixed up. So let me just go and make this green. Okay, so we know this is the pattern that we have fixed up. Things are looking much better, much healthier here that I think this is going to work just fine. So we'll select everything and we'll go to edit, define pattern. 
and then we'll go back to the document where we're testing the pattern and click on this because we can now replace it with the pattern we just created. And here is the most recent one. I'm clicking on it to select it and click OK and you can see that it is perfect. So the issue, and I've experienced it before, here's another example that I had a problem with and I managed to save it so that I could show you. You can see that this piece is supposed to ultimately attach the bottom of this. It's not going to attach correctly. There's a whole lot of pieces missing here. And ditto, this piece is supposed to attach here. There are pieces missing. This is caused by this exact same problem. I had a letter, I rasterized it, I sent it to the four corners and Photoshop is assuming that there's actually more content outside this document than is visible. And so that's an issue that you may encounter when you're making patterns. Now it's not just text, it's other shapes and all sorts of things. It's been an ongoing issue. I probably discovered it probably about three years ago. It still hasn't been fixed. So if you wanna make sure that your patterns are gonna work when you use the offset filter, before you use the offset filter, just run a crop on that layer that you're going to use the offset filter on. Make sure that you've got delete cropped pixels selected because you want to get rid of anything that's outside that layer. Even if you can't see it, there's something there that potentially will cause your pattern to fail. Now, before we finish up, I have more Photoshop training if you're interested at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 200 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine will be better. Please feel free to share this coupon with family, friends and co-workers. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned to troubleshoot pattern making in Photoshop. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.